In a previous flashcard, we've taken a look at the supply voltage to an electrical circuit, and we've said it's kind of like the electrical pressure pushing the charge around the circuit and through the resistance of the components. So if you doubled the voltage or the potential difference across the component, it makes sense that you're doubling the pressure, you're doubling the flow, and therefore the current would be doubled. So when the potential difference across a piece of resistance wire is changed, the current through the wire also changes. Now what is the relationship between the two? Well, we've already said if you doubled one, then you will double the other. And so the kind of graph that uh, you will see will look something like this. So we're going to have current on this axis. We're going to have potential difference. Potential difference or voltage on this axis. And potential difference will be measured in volts. Current will be measured in amps. Now, when you've got no potential difference, so we've got no battery, if you like, zero, then how much current would we have? Well, there's nothing to push the charge around, so we're going to have zero current. And then with some kind of potential difference, we will have some current flow pushing that charge around. What happens if you double the, the potential difference? Well, we said that we would double the current. That's double the flow. And so the relationship we're going to find is a straight line going through the origin. I can line up my ruler. And this straight line is a line of proportionality. So we can say that uh, that uh, current is directly proportional to the, I'm going to just abbreviate it, potential difference across a component. Okay, so this is a straight line, directly proportional. Now this is actually a law and it's called Ohm's law. Ohm's law says that the current that flows is directly proportional to the potential difference or the voltage across the component. Now one proviso, one thing to note that the temperature of the component, the temperature must be held constant for this law to hold. And in future flashcards, we'll be taking a look at how temperature affects the current flow if you have a certain voltage push. Uh, but for now, Ohm's law says you have to hold the temperature at a constant value so that it doesn't heat up. And then the current will be directly proportional to the potential difference across the component.